welcome back to my channel and if you guys are new welcome go ahead and click on the subscribe button so you guys don't miss out any more of my videos and right next to it will be a little bell which will notify you every time I upload a new video follow all my social media if you aren't already so today I am bringing you guys this winter makeup routine that I usually like to do for work or on the weekends whenever I'm going out with my friends but I'm focusing more on skincare recently my main priority has been skincare just because my skin went crazy on me I don't know if you guys remember I have been receiving a lot of compliments from all of you on my skin and if you guys would like to see a skincare routine please let me know down below because I would love to share with you guys what I've been doing so this is going to be a very affordable winter makeup routine I used all drugstore products or very inexpensive items. I'll have everything down below. Also a few links if you guys are interested in purchasing anything. Also the brushes were very inexpensive in case you guys were interested in purchasing them. So if you guys would like to see how to get this winter makeup routine look, then just keep on watching. So first I'm going to be applying my moisturizer and this is Ofer Cosmetics Wanderlush moisturizer which was in collaboration with Kim Thai. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so amazing and it does contain an ingredient that acts as a primer. I've been using this every single day and I am absolutely in love with it. So I will have it down below with a 30% off discount code. This is very important because the base is really going to help our foundation, everything else look very glowing and just it'll all come together. After that, I'll be going in with the Maybelline Pore Filler and this is from their baby skin line. I love this stuff. It's very inexpensive and it really hides my pores. Right after, I'll be going in with my LA Girl pro coverage foundation and also the sonia kashuk one i've been obsessed with mixing both of these foundations together because they just create the most gorgeous look it gives my skin a very matte yet dewy finish and it lasts all day i can honestly say this stuff lasts over 12 hours but i'm not exactly sure if it's the foundation or the moisturizer but all of this combined together is phenomenal i'm obsessed with this combination for concealer, I'll be using the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer right underneath my eyes. As you guys can see, it really does hide under eye circles. It's definitely one of my favorite concealers from the drugstore. I'll also be taking this all over my eyelid just to cover that discoloration. And to set that in place, I'll just be sweeping some of my RCMA translucent powder underneath my eyes and also on my eyelids. To bronze, I'll be using the Ulta Matte Bronzer. I absolutely love this stuff. It's very warm, but it's not too orange. I'll be sweeping this underneath my cheekbones, on the sides of my forehead, down my jawline, and I'll also be taking this on the sides of my nose just to make it appear slimmer, but I really love that sun-kissed look it gives to my face. Then I'll be taking the Be A Bombshell Bronzer. I'll have the shade of it down below because I've been using this every single day. It just gives my skin such a gorgeous glow. I'm not exactly sure how much this rounds for, but it came in my Ipsy Glam Bag and I love it so much. Then taking my BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Palette, I'll be mixing both of these shades, which is a highlight shade and one of her eyeshadows, and I'll be doing a little cocktail just to apply it as my highlighter. And I am using a Morphe brush. As for all the brushes that I used, I kept it very affordable as well and also in bundles. Bundles? Would it be bundles? I used a lot of brush sets in this video. Next, I'll be taking the Tame and Frame Pomade, which is very similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade one. I just do feel like this one is a little bit chunkier, but at the same time, it's easier to work with. And I'll be using a Morphe brush, which is for the eyebrows, and I'll be using the other side of the spoolie just to distribute any excess product. For the eyes, I'm keeping it very simple. I'll be using the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette and I'll be taking the white shade and sweeping this all over my eyelids just to give me a nice even base to work with. Next, I'll be taking the soft brown shade on this fluffy blending brush and I'll be sweeping this on my crease and windshield wiping motions just to give me some warmth to the crease. Then I'll be taking the light golden shade and placing this all over my eyelid just to give me a little bit of a pop to the lid. I 
I'll make sure everything is blended out with the blending brush and I'll be adding a little bit of that highlight to my inner corners. I'll be curling my lashes for some lift and then I'll be applying some of my CoverGirl mascara. You can go ahead and skip out on the falsies but I do like to wear falsies since I have very small short eyelashes. But before this I'll actually be applying some of that shade that we used in our crease on my bottom lash line. And then I'll be going in with mascara. This will just give the illusion of bigger eyes. And for eyelashes, I'll be going in with Coco Lashes Queen B. I always forget to contour the sides of my nose right after applying my bronzer, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now. Moving on to the lips, I'll be using my Italia Soft Brown Lip Liner and I'll be outlining my lips. I'll also be filling it in with this lip liner. It's a very nude mauve shade. I love it for every day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it. Stick around by subscribing so you guys don't miss out on any more of my videos. And also let me know what you guys would like to see next. I have been thinking about this for such a long time, but I really want to incorporate a little bit more fashion and lifestyle on my channel. So let me know what you guys would like to see, a fashion video or kind of like a cooking video. I don't know, something along those lines. I know you guys were interested in seeing a couple of my recipes and what I like to eat. Since you guys know, I started a healthier lifestyle since last year, and I know it's been highly requested, but I promise you guys I will bring these videos between these two weeks. Just let me know what you guys would like to see first. I also wanted to announce something really, really quick. I've been wanting to start my fashion blog for such a long time, and I think my time has come, so let me know what you guys would like to see my very first outfit post to be. Would you like it to be like a Valentine's Day or something very casual, what I like to wear every day, or work outfits. If you guys didn't know, I do have a job besides doing YouTube and freelancing, so I don't know if you guys would be interested in that. Let me know what you guys would like to see because this is something I've been wanting to do for such a long time and I think, I think this is my time and I just really want to thank you guys for always supporting me and motivating me every single day so i love you all and i will see you in my next video bye